Sunday. Yes, I've given God thanks. And I've given God praise. Yes, giving him honor and glory for the life that this brother lived on this earth. Today we heard that he was a politician. We heard that he was a best village man. We heard that he was a preacher. And we knew him as a bishop. But I knew him as a child of God. So I glorify God. But today, when we look at the man, he's leaving a last message for us. And the last message says to us that flesh and blood cannot inherit eternal life. And I want to just tread on that. When we look at ourselves, we are born of the flesh. We carry blood in our veins. And when we look on the outer part, we see the flesh. So we are all flesh and blood. Natural man. And the Bible is saying to us that natural man cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Natural man cannot have eternal life. The Bible tells us that Nicodemus went to Jesus. And when he went to Jesus, Jesus told him, a man must be born again of the water and of the spirit that he never enter heaven. A change must take place. The Bible tells us that Jesus will come again and he will come with a trumpet song and a dead in Christ shall rise forth. The Bible tells us that mortal will put on mortality, immortality, and corrupt will put on incorruption. But you and I cannot make the change. Our change depends on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All we need to do is surrender. All we need to do is surrender to Jesus. Give over your life to him. My brother knew that. My brother, he knew that. And for this cause, he gave his life to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Look at the young people today. Some give their life to drugs. Some give their lives to thieving. Some give their lives to all types of criminal activities. Even living promiscuous lives. Who have we given our lives to? How do we expect to get change in our lives when we live in any home? Some of us are even called to be Christians.